What's up, Fight Fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Jarrell Big Baby Miller. Jarrell Miller, if you guys haven't heard by now, Jarrell Miller verbally agrees to a multi term fight promotion with Top Rank. Big surprise, right? Top Rank will get a, a look of flack from boxing fans for signing Miller due to his positive drug tests. Of course, we know that. With an um, addition of the Brooklyn, New York native Miller, he's a chess piece that top rank can match against their other heavyweights. Miller weighed in over 300 pounds in his last three fights without it hurting him. Big Baby Miller with good fights available to him you have uh, Kubrat Pulev, Otto Vilein, and Tyson Fury, okay? So it's going to be a long road back from uh, for Miller, which is 6'4", okay? He's like the same height as uh, Dillian White, and, you know, and he's got, you know, he's got to get winning again. Of course, we know he's second on the redemption list, and for obvious reasons. Um, we have to know what he's made out of, honestly. We have to honestly know what he can do in the ring, honestly, Okay, legitimately, you know, drug free Miller. We need to see who that dude is. We want to see, you know, because here's the thing. We don't know how long he was on it, to be fair. We don't know. But to be fair, we don't know. So we can assume anything and everything. Hell, every fight he could have been juicing. Who knows? It could have been just one. But we don't know that being the public. And it's up to Jarrell Miller to show us that he is capable of beating these fighters cheat free. You know, um, I'm not really surprised that he went with top rank because we've seen him shaking Bob Arum's hand, of course. That was last year. He was showing up at top rank events. He was, of course, he was showing up at the at zone uh, events, but he knows Eddie Hearn doesn't want to sign him right now because he's, he's bitter. He's pissed. It's a tender uh, spot and his two. That's what, seven months ago? Eight months ago that happened? Okay, because so we have to look at things the way they really are. So if Eddie Hearn would have took Jarrell Miller in, he would have got way more backlash than Bob Arum with top rank. We know his ban is up. You know, other fighters have been tested positive, but it's the form. It's the way he got tested. He got busted. He got busted with one. Then, then one, then came two, then three. Damn near to the four. <laughs> and then I had the beats I had in store, <laughs> right? So he had a lot of drugs in his system. So it looked a lot worse than normal cases of people just popping with this substance. Maybe they're taking something that they didn't know this was in it. And therefore that was in it. That's why they got it in it. So it was some type of explanation. Even Canelo, you know, you know, that's what they do put in uh, inject in cows in Mexico. So there is something that people could hold on to if they want to believe that this guy was cheat free unintentionally. But with Jarrell Miller, there's no way in Hades that it was unintentional, you know? And then he tried to lie about it, which made it bad. He was trying to save face. I get it. But he didn't know that the other two, so as long as they didn't know the other two drugs were in my system, I'm going to ride this wave until they find out. <laughs> You know, and they found out. So, you know, again, um, he is on the redemption list. So he has a he does have a long road back. We have to see how he is. So I guess he will get that um, tune up fight that he was looking for. You know, because remember, he called out Joe Joyce, the juggernaut, which is I think is 14 and 0 right now. Six, five, six, six. He's a big guy, you know, slower than Jarrell Miller, but bigger, too. Taller, even. I don't know about bigger, because Jarrell Miller's a big boy, big baby, cheeseburgers. <laughs> but he is back on the scene, you know, and it is good to see any fighter to redeem themselves. You know, I mean, you, you know, yes, he's on the shit list. Yes, he's on the redemption list. But how long is he on these lists? How long can you keep hating a person? You know, did he do exactly what Antonio Margarito did? No. But is it in the same ballpark? Yes, kind of. Why? Because you intentionally took drugs to hurt a fighter. You know, it's just a blessing that you did get caught. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. Um, I would like to know um, what the deal is, you know, um, 
But I'm but here you here you, here you go. Miller would have gotten a big six man. Okay, that's Joshua's deal. I'm talking about his deal with uh top rank. Um it's a multi fight deal, but of course this they don't I don't even think they guarantee anything. I think he just signed with a you know with a ter- certain amount of money and I think that's due to um I think that's due to uh, their knowledge or their are, are not having the knowledge on how Jarrell Miller will perform, you know. Um, it's a promotional deal that will see the heavyweight contender compete exclusively on ESPN platform, but it doesn't show anything about the exact amount that he was going to make. But um, nonetheless, you know, um, he has signed with top rank. Top rank has took him in, you know, you can't hate a person forever. You know what I mean? Because in, you know, in in the grand scheme of things, he's not the only fighter that cheated, you know, to be fair. So it is what it is. Now, a lot of people would, if it was up to a lot of people, he would never fight again. A lot of people. Um, The good thing about Miller, though, if we look at it in retrospect, it's a good thing he did take all these drugs at one time. Because let's say he would have took uh, the GW1516 drug, then later on got popped with the HGH in the EPO. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a totally different situation because these are two separate times. Okay? And that could have been two separate times when he took the drug. He could have took this type of drug this week and then took two more drugs the next week. But it was on, it was registered as a matter of fact, it was two different tests, but it was the same uh, issue, you know, at, at, at the same testing. So, you know, you had to sample A and then had to sample B. You know what I mean? You there. He's very fortunate that they didn't look at that as, you know what, you got popped once for this and then you got busted again. That could have been a totally different situation. And Jarrell Miller would have been out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. He's very fortunate. Again, you know, he is charismatic. He does have a mouthpiece. He is undefeated still to this day, despite, you know, the stigma under his name. I am interested to see what he's going to do when he returns. What type of condition will he be in? You know what I mean? How will he perform? Will he perform with the confidence he had with he had he had or may not had drugs in his system? We don't know, but we will see. That's why I'm looking forward to seeing Jarrell Miller in the ring. You know, again, I do like the charismatic shit talk that he has, you know, with his opponents. He did talk himself on a multi-million dollar payday with Anthony Joshua, you know, so, you know, kudos to him. Um, I just hope he stays clean, does the right thing and do, and, and, and perform the best that he can. But anyway, that's my counterpunch on Jarrell Big Baby Miller. You guys tell me what you think about Jarrell Miller signing with top rank verbally. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.